The world is so full of a number of things, I'm sure we should all be as happy as kings. Okay, so we went to this science center here. It's called the Mobius in Spokane, Washington. And we got, the kids got to ride on these hovercrafts along with a bunch of other cool stuff that they have there. So I wanted to explain the science behind these hovercrafts and what's going on. See, they have a round piece of probably plywood. I've seen it made out of plywood before. In fact, my dad made one. And the grandkids got to all ride on it uh, one year, a couple years ago. See, here it is. And then you just take a little hole and you cut a hole in it the same size as your leaf blower and you stick the leaf blower through the hole and then when you turn the leaf blower on it blows air through the hole and creates a thin cushion of air between the cardboard or the between the wooden uh, disc and the surface that you're sitting on and when you create that cushion of air you reduce the friction in immensely there's still some friction because air does have friction but it's a tiny tiny amount of friction it's very little friction at all so you see how these kids can just slide right across the floor like like they're not even moving that's the same way an air hockey table works all you're doing is you're reducing friction to where it's almost negligible and then we can see Newton's laws of motion in effect here so one of Newton's laws says an object in motion tends to stay in motion and an object at rest tends to stay at rest. If these kids aren't moving in the chair, they don't move until someone gives them a shove and moves them. And once they are given a shove and they're moving across the floor, they don't stop until someone else stops them. That's Newton's first law of motion. An object in motion tends to stay in motion. They won't stop until another force acts on them to cause them to stop. Very cool. So you can make one of these at home. Uh, they're not that hard to make. And you just need an old leaf blower laying around and get some plywood. That's pretty much it. You don't have to have the chair attached to it like they did. And it's pretty cool if you put a rope on it. And that way the person who's controlling it can kind of direct where it will go. And I hope you make one and hope you have fun. And please visit us at layersoflearning.com. This is Michelle Kofer. See you later.